What is this? What's going on here? What are you people doing here? Have a look at this. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Well, I know it's been a long walk, Piper, and, uh, you know, we left rather early this morning. It was still dark when we left, but uh, here we are. We're coming up in it. Um, this is where I live. Uh, this is, I'm calling it the Starlight Drive-In Settlement. Um, don't know what else to call it. Um, basically, you know, as I was saying, there was people that decided that they, you know, I needed a place to stay, first of all. And so I decided, you know, I didn't want to stay at Sanctuary where I was from. Too many bad memories there. And I wanted to kind of get farther down into the Commonwealth. Um, so I could better work on finding where my son was. I knew he wasn't going to be at Sanctuary. So I wanted to kind of get deeper down and, and you know, at the same time I wanted to... I decided to kind of make some place to, um, as a base of operations, some place to work from. And I was, I was here, I was doing my thing and a couple people showed up and they decided they wanted to stay and they wanted to help me. I told them my story and they wanted to help, um, much like you did. And then they talked me into putting up a, a beacon so other settlers could, could come here and hear about us. And so I did, you know, we've now got, uh, I believe like a total of 12 settlers, not counting dog meat, 13 if you count him. And uh, um, this is what we've done. So over here we have uh, we have our bartender's house. She wanted a place, so we built her this place here. And uh, you can see that uh, you know she's she's slowly but surely getting moved in, and it's a nice little place, but. Uh, um, you know, it's just a place for her to stay. It's kind of big, but, uh, you know, she doesn't mind. <laughs> uh, uh, space isn't, like, super major at the moment, so. And then in here, our, we have a general store, um, and, um, the young lady, Miss Jackson, who runs that, she lives down here. And, uh, she kind of decided that this space was somewhat not being used, and, she had an idea for how she wanted to convert it over to where she could stay here, so we did. We uh, converted this over, and she made herself a nice little place back in here. It's cozy. It gives her everything she wants. And, uh, yeah, so let's, let's go check this out over here. So we just kind of walk through this little opening. And there's Miss Jackson. How you doing, Miss Jackson? Great. Okay, so let's, let's head over here. Um, there's Tom. And Tom's walking over. He's uh, he's a he's our maintenance guy, and so he kind of runs all the maintenance stuff. And he's helped us with quite a few things. He was one of the first ones we had here, and uh, he knew how to get a generator going. So we got a generator going, and he knew how to do the beacon. So there's our generator in there, and uh, we got a couple workbenches. We can. You know, work on our armor. Uh, we can work on weapons and other things like that here. And uh, this is where Tom works out of. You know, there's some of the supplies and stuff. And there's our generator and then our main workbench where we can do, he can do some lathing and, and whatnot. And then uh, over here, uh, Tom just sleeps in here. He's a man after my own heart and keeping the old trifold flag going and stuff. And then uh, Tom ha also, the generator that we had had enough power that Tom had the idea of also putting in this water purifier. So this water, we're not exactly sure how it works, whether it keeps getting replenished by rain and we're, so we're not using it all, or if there's actually some sort of a spring where the water's coming up underneath. But uh, so we put this water purifier in and it allows us, um, this building here allows us to go down and we could take samples off of it. And we check the samples on this bench over here and uh, we can check it for, for acidity and radiation and all that kind of stuff so yeah so this works out pretty well for us um, over there uh, that house we'll come back to it but that's where our farmers are living and uh, we have our, our sec main security lady uh, you know that's Sally over there she's she's pretty dedicated she she takes security very serious she knows what it's like I guess for the the Raiders you guys call them Raiders and 
some other people, some, you know, there's, I know there's some ghouls, and uh, uh, I think that's what they call them, there's these ghouls and these big green guys, um, you know, I ran into those guys too, and uh, there's Janet, hi Janet, Janet's going to be in charge of our supplies, and so we currently have two supply runs going. And they're going out to uh, one, two Sanctuary Hills, where I used to live. Um, there's some Minutemen that I ran into, and they're living up there. Um, I still kind of stay in contact, and I've done an odd job or two for them. But uh, they're living up there, so we set up a supply line between the two. And uh, the one odd job they sent me was out to, I think they call it Ten Pines Bluff. And uh, so we decided to set up a supply line out there as well. So that way uh, um, we can kind of share our stuff and, and keep in communication, so to speak. So once we get more supplies going, we're going to have this building here. Um, we went ahead and built this because we had the supplies to build it. But once we get some more uh, incoming and outgoing, we're going to have that here. And Janet will be working in here. Um, She'll, she'll work out of this building where all the supplies are, and she can kind of control any of our um, supply people as they're going about their business. And then, and here's where Janet uh, lives. This is, she wanted a nice, quiet little place next to where she works. So we put that there for her to get in and out of. And then we'll, we'll finish up by, uh, well, we'll finish up, we'll go over to the, uh, um, we'll get over here to the, uh, the farmers, or uh, I call them farmers, they're just basically the people working our gardens, but we'll go over here to the gardens, let's kind of hurry up a little bit, and, uh, so we come over here to the, the farmers, and, uh, we can have a look at their place, so. If there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know, if you need anything too, Fred. Well, you know, I just figured, you know, lighten the load, I mean, you can. Gonna pitch in wherever you want. Um, I think we have the farming under control right now, so uh, we have a couple farmers that live here. They're just gonna stay in here, and here's where they're working. And uh, hello, guys. So we have a quite the variety of plants here. We have some corn and um, whatever these things are, some sort of fruit, um, something. And then there's these weird-looking carrots. And uh, these things on the vines, which I called them tomatoes, but these guys are calling them tomatoes. Um, so, like a cross between a potato and a tomato. Hmm. Not sure. I can finally think straight. Hey, Sheffield, how you doing, buddy? That's good. How's that Nuka Cola treating you? All right. Yeah. And then we have this corn. You, should go. you guys talk a lot. Robot. Let's talk more work, ladies. Nice. I just noticed you guys all decided to wear the same outfit while you're working in the farm. Oh, well, that works for me. That uh, way I can identify who's doing what because I don't remember any of your guys' names, to be honest. Hey, Frank, how's it going? You cooking up the roast tonight? Good, good. All right, so here's our bar. And then we have this nice little seating area underneath the uh, the old awning here. So we can get in the, under the sun or stay out of the rain. Um, gives us a nice place to roast our our, our beasts and uh, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's just a quick tour. And uh, as you, you know where I live, uh, I showed you that. Uh, did I show you that? Well, no, I didn't. We just got here. Why don't you come up here? I'll show you. How you doing, dog me? Good boy. Can I get through there? Huh? Mind if I get through there? All right, let me through. Oh, you want some dog food? All right, I'll get you some here in a minute, buddy. <clears throat> so yeah, for now, I just kind of stay up here. Nice and quiet little spot. I just stay up here. And uh, oh, and then I forgot that we had, we had a little uh, area we can just come up here and relax and, and that type of thing, you know, if we just want to relax. Hey, Jack, how the hell are you, buddy? Just come in from uh, Ten Pines, did you? Good to, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, Janet was wanting to talk to you, so make sure you stop by and talk to her, okay? 
All right. Well, what do you think, Piper? Pretty good. Pretty good so far. I mean, I don't know how much more we're going to be doing, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it gives me a place to work out of and, and, uh, gives me purpose. And I think that's important, you know, so, um, you know, always got to keep them, keep busy doing stuff. And, uh, I feel like I'm at least, you know, I couldn't save my wife, but I can save, help save these people. And that's important to me, you know? So, yeah. Oh, I think that's probably it, Piper. All right, well, let's uh, let's get ready to head down to, I think we had to go get some paint or something for the wall. Let's go ahead down and do that. What do you think? All right, yeah, let's get going on that. Let's, we'll just go down these stairs. And that's all I have to say about that. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel.